Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So last video I have started the new subject called computerized accounting. In the last video I have explained you about the meaning of computerized accounting, features of computerized accounting, advantages and differences between manual accounting and computerized accounting. Hope my regular viewers have already watched that video completely acquainted with the meaning of the term computerized accounting. If you have not watched, I suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel. Select the subject computerized accounting, watch the first video, be acquainted, get thorough about the meaning of the term computerized accounting, then come to this video. So in this video, I'm going to start the first unit that is management of chart of accounts or maintaining the chart of accounts in ERP. But before starting this maintenance of chart of accounts in ERP, first we must know the meaning of the term ERP. So I'm going to explain you the introduction to ERP, characteristics of ERP, reasons for the growth of ERP and importance of ERP, lastly ERP solutions or modules in ERP. These are the things I'm going to explain you in detail. So watch the video till the end to get the complete command on the concept of ERP. Without understanding ERP, we cannot go to the maintenance of chart accounts, maintaining the chart of accounts. So what is ERP introduction? I'm going to explain. So enterprise resource planning, this is the full, full form of ERP. So ERP covers the techniques and concepts employed. ERP is a technique or the concept which is employed for integrated management of business as a whole. When the business expands, so many departments are there, so many functions are there. So there should be some concept, some technique should be there to synchronize, to combine, to all the departments are not independent. The different departments are dependent on one another. So there should be something, some technique to synchronize all the functions of the business. So this ERP is a technique or concept which is used to integrate the integ to integrate the management of the business as a whole from the viewpoint of effective utilization of all the resources of the organization. So different resources are there effectively utilizing all the resources in order to attain the objective of the organization. Simple words ERP is a technique or concept which is used to integrate the management management of the business as a whole management of the business as a whole from the viewpoint of effective utilization of all the resources in order to achieve the objective of the business now erp is most frequently used in the context of software nowadays erp whenever we call we say about erp it refers to the software application so by using the software application, we try to integrate all the departments of the organization. So ERP is a process by which a company manages and integrate the important parts of the business. Like in a business organization, there are different departments like uh, purchasing department, inventory department, then production department, accounting department, finance department, sales department, marketing department, and customer relation management department, human resource management. All these are the different departments in an organization. So ERP will try to integrate all these departments so that we can effectively utilize all the resources in order to achieve the objective of the business. Now ERP management system integrates overall planning, purchasing, inventory, sales, marketing, finance, human resource. Just now I told you so many departments are there. So this ERP will integrate. Now ERP packages are integrated or covering all the business functions and software packages. So ERP packages are the software packages which integrate, which integrate or combine all the functions of the business. Then and were targeted and the, uh, particularly ERP packages were targeted for manufacturing industry but later on also applies to diverse types of industries. Originally this ERP packages were developed mainly for manufacturing organizations but later on when the successful ERP packages are very successful in manufacturing organization afterwards it has been applied to other types of industries also 
Now ERP packages are not confined only for manufacturing. It is applied in every type of industry. So this is all about the introduction to ERP. Simple words, ERP is the technique or concept which integrates, which integrates the management of the organization as a whole in order to effectively utilize the resources of the organization in order to achieve the objectives of the business. That's it. This is the introduction. Now, characteristic features of this ERP. The first, an integrated system that operates in real time. It is an integrated. Why integrated? Because it's combined. This ERP will try to combine all the functions of the business. So this ERP software, ERP application will try to integrate all the departments, all the functions in the real time. Second, a common database which supports all applications. This ERP is a common database. In this, all the data regarding every function, every department is there in this ERP. Second, a consistent look and feel throughout each model, module. So in this ERP, we have different modules and all the modules are combined together so we can feel, we can see that all the modules are integrated at one place. Then information and data are held in a common integrated database. The data is not, I mean, at different departments. All the data is concentrated at one place. So that is the main function of uh, ERP, that the data of all the departments are at one place. Next is facilitated product planning. There are many benefits. This ERP will help in production planning, product planning. It helps in material parts purchasing because mainly one of the main department of any manufacturing organization is purchasing department. So this ERP will help in material and parts purchasing. It provides platform for inventory control. The, one of the major department in a manufacturing organization is inventory department, stores department. So this ERP will give a, will, I mean, apply a good control on the inventory management. Next, it helps in production scheduling. Scheduling means uh, making a timetable or uh, arranging, arranging the production. So successfully, the production department can function if there is ERP. Then it helps in capacity utilization. That means there should not be any idle capacity. All the capacity should be fully utilized. It helps in order tracking. By having ERP, we can easily track the order. Actually, the order is at what, which place. Then it helps in planning for finance and human resource. Not only it helps in production, but also this ERP will help in financing in human resource. So these are some of the characteristic features of ERP. Now the next question is reasons for the growth of ERP. Nowadays this ERP has grown to such an extent that throughout the world it is being applied. So what is the purpose? So before the evolution of ERP, there are different software application for every department. For example, purchasing department will have their own software application. Production department, own software application, finance department, accounting department, sales department. So every department will, will have their own separate application, software. So there is no synchronization. There is no, I mean, uh, dependability on each of the, de of the department. So this ERP has removed that drawback. The ERP have integrated all the departments. So that shows the growth of ERP first industry best practices nowadays ERP is the best industry practices which is applied in order to integrate all the activities of the business overall management of the business that is the best practice second easy and faster implementation that means tracking can be done control can be done on material on inventory everything so faster implementation can be done. Third, good, good cost predictions. By, you, by implement, implying this uh, ERP, the cost predictions can be done easily. Next one, the number of employees using ERP system is increasing. Nowadays, every organization is using the ERP. So the number of employees who are using ERP is also increasing day by day. ERP clients who have started with basic model are going for subsequent applications. A lot of research is going on. 
initially only basic modules are being used but as the business are acquainted or if the business see the benefit of this ERP they are going for subsequent application of ERP last one it provides competitive advantage when a business implements ERP it will have an edge over other businesses so they can compete with other businesses so this shows the importance the growth of the ERP now importance of ERP ERP is very very important because it integrates it integrates all the departments in the organization the information will be centralized enhance productivity by implementing this ERP application in a business organization the productivity will increase the productivity of all the factors of production will increase enhance flexibility we can change we can change the different activities of the business second enhance customer responsiveness because one of the advantage of this ERP is we can track the order we can satisfy the customers so customer satisfaction is possible with the help of ERP next one it maximizes the efficiency of business process across the entire organization the efficiency of all the departments production department purchase department marketing department sales department human resource department the efficiency of all the depart different departments will increase by using ERP next one plant manufacturing can produce product faster that means production can be accelerated the production can speed up with the help of ERP next one increase on time delivery by implementing ERP we can deliver the goods to the customers on time there will not be any bottlenecks then increase order capacity we can the orders will increase the capacity we can fully utilize by having ERP next it, uh, it improves customer relationship management when we satisfy the customers definitely the customer relationship with the business will improve that means the business can be able to get more and more customers because customers are satisfied last one it helps standardize business processes by using ERP the business process can be standardized there won't be any chaos that means information will be timely generated so every business uh, I mean uh, process will become standardized this shows the importance of ERP now the last topic in this video is regarding the ERP solutions or different modules of ERP because ERP integrates all the functions of the business organization so in this ERP we have different modules for different purposes so what are the modules under ERP first of all financial module so the first for I mean example of ERP solution, ERP module is financial. This financial module covers the general ledger, cash management, receivables management, fixed assets, etc. All these can be managed from financial module. Secondly, project management. A project is any undertaking which is having a beginning and an end. So project should be managed properly so that the cost incurred in the project should be minimum and the project should be completed on time. So this project management will give the costing, billing, time and expense, performance unit, activity management. All these things will be covered under project management module. Second, uh, next one is human resource. Human resource module is also one of the module of ERP. This module is concerned with the payroll of the human resources the training the time and attendance and any other benefits given to the workers or employees so this module is human resource module next customer relationship module CRM so customer relationship module this module covers sales and marketing commission service customer contact and call center support all these will come under the CRM customer relation management then manufacturing module this manufacturing module consists of engineering engineering of the product that means the product should be I mean innovated some new features should be added to the product then bills of material how much material is required for the product scheduling that means making a I mean a sequence of activities then capacity workflow management quality control cost management all these things will come under the module of manufacturing last one supply chain management 
सो ऑर्डर टू कैश इन्वेंट्री ऑर्डर इन entry purchasing product configuration supply chain planning supplier scheduling and inspection of goods all these will come under supply chain management so erp is a wide concept which includes so many modules for different areas of the business so every module will generate information and keep this information and pass it to the management so that management can take efficient decisions so in this video i have explained you about the meaning of the term erp characteristics of erp then reasons for the growth of erp importance of erp and lastly modules of erp inshallah we'll continue the next discussion in the next video you take a snapshot of this video so that you can be able to make notes of all the points which i have given here